much and we are here in a colony villa somewhere in the heart of the villages and I wanted to show you what we did we did a massive overdrive makeover in here <laughs> so particularly we want to talk about what we did with the kitchen so come on and let's take a look okay so in a colony villa typically what happens when you walk in the front door you literally see everything okay so what we wanted to do is visually connect this room to the kitchen. This house originally had oak cabinetry in the kitchen and you only get one wall of cabinetry in your bar and the rest of it is just bare wall and kind of almost useless space. So what we decided to do was do a kitchen makeover and a living room makeover. So what we did with our kitchen is we um, added in lots of cabinetry and drawers, and we lowered the island. So typically this island is tall. We lowered it, you get a lot of surface area now. You bring your groceries in, you have full space. You wanna roll out dough, you have a full space, okay? Um, one of the things that we do that I really like in a colony where the ceiling is lower, bring those cabinets up all the way to the ceiling, it makes the kitchen look big okay this is a really it feels like a really big kitchen when you're standing in it um we like the use of the addition of drawers into the space so let me show you what drawers can do for you colonies typically do not have pull out the older ones typically do not have pull out so we added a pull out trash can okay all drawers big deep drawers that you can put lots of stuff in now rather than opening the door and looking way under there you can open your drawer and look down into it and see what you have, okay? So we did a drawer stack here. That stayed the same, obviously, because of the sink. A drawer stack here, a place for all of our cutting boards. Lazy Susan, okay? Lazy Susan, and this Lazy Susan uh, is tight back there so it doesn't let things fall down into the space. Um, above here, a correlating which I even forgot about, <laughs> Lazy Susan. I love that, okay? So super, super usable. Here we did do one cabinet for the KitchenAid, and then you have a massive drawer stack, pots and pans, okay? Pots and pans galore. All in these drawers here, okay? Look at all this cabinet space you have. Coffee station. I don't even, we didn't even put anything in this one. The homeowners have, we loaded up what we could, but they're coming home. Look at all this, this is open space. So they're used to, from going to this, to all this space, plus another pantry. So that's two pantries. This one, oops. And then this one, if you remember in a colony, is a door. So we make it a real pantry, okay? So, I mean, and it's not even full. So a lot of space when you redo the kitchen. Uh, keep in mind, the tips to take away here are all the way to the ceiling, lots of drawers, take your cabinetry and the space all the way around to this wall right here. Very, very high functioning kitchen, okay? Now, what we wanna make sure to do in the colony, as we said, is visual continuity. We wanted to bring this and this together. These are the two walls you see right when you walk in. We did a board and batten treatment on this wall, which is painted all white. And um, what that does is when you walk in, it just creates a visual connection to the kitchen so the space looks larger. You don't want to cut it by doing like a red wall and a, you know, a brown kitchen or a red wall with even with a white kitchen. You want to bring these two spaces together. It's going to make the house feel larger, okay? Um, some of the other things that we did is the camera can show you around the room. Shutters with headers, a header. We love the, uh, the Virtus line. That is a honeycomb blind that you close and you get light and privacy. More shutters and headers. So visual continuity all the way around the space. The color on the walls is a color called Herring Plume. And that is a Sherwin Williams color. That's a very light gray, but it is a warm gray, which is very important. It has a brownish undertone to it, so it keeps it warm in here. Um, all together, I really love how it turned out. I'm jealous of the kitchen. I love it. 
Um, so if you guys have a colony and you want to do a kitchen, give it a try. This is what it, this is great ideas for you. So this is Ruth Dyer with a finishing touch. Keep checking back.